Home batteries and VPPs. What does it mean for you? What can it do for you? What does VPP mean? Well, let's talk about that. It's Cameron here from Freedom Solar and Batteries here at Charmhaven on the sunny, although today a bit dreary, central coast of New South Wales. What is a VPP and what's a home battery? The home battery is basically just nothing different to what you've got in your phone. It's just a very much bigger version of it. We're storing energy in that uh, battery for you to use later. Just like when we charge our phone up, we charge that up from flat so we can use it later. Anytime we need it, we use that battery. We typically tie them with solar panels. So through the day, when you're generating heaps of solar energy, but you're not home to use it, Normally that energy flows back to the grid. It runs your fridge, runs your pool, whatever you're running through the day, but most energy goes back to the grid. We put a battery in the house so that rather than that energy go back to the grid, that energy is used to charge your battery up. Store your energy in that battery so that you can use it later or any time you need it, hence like your phone. You can use it any time later when the sun's not shining at night time. You can run your home on solar power at night. That's how the system is designed to work. It's the ideal partner. Solar power has always been the perfect partner for a battery. They work together like that. Up until now, batteries have been very expensive, very hard to buy, very big and cumbersome. So now, of course, the federal government in July 1 this year has introduced the Cheaper Home Batteries program. It's a federal scheme using the existing STC uh, or Small Scale Technology Certificate scheme uh, that we currently or have always used with the solar panels. They've expanded this to encompass the home batteries. It's made a substantial reduction in the cost of a home battery. So one of those big barriers, the cost of installing the battery has now been removed. So guess what? Everybody is putting batteries in now. Since the scheme started on July 1 and today is uh, getting close to the middle of September, there's 43,000 batteries have been installed so far. And it's just continuing to ramp up and more and more. The scheme is funded with $2.3 billion. They assure us, though, that they are intending on funding it to the end of 2030, which is when the STC scheme ends. Uh, on our calculations, on most industry pundits' calculations, the money will run out before that, but they've assured us that they will keep topping it up. It's not capped. They've not capped the amount, uh, so there will be uh, the scheme will run to the end. Um, the amount of certificates the generator will reduce every year until the end of the scheme too. So the amount spent on those certificates will reduce. So it'll ramp down as we, as, uh, as we move on through time. So where does a VPP come in? What does VPP mean? It means virtual power plant. What's that? That means that if you've got a battery, you can... You use it in the wholesale energy market like a virtual energy producer feeding into the network. That's very specialized controls and algorithms that, that can give you that capability. And I'm going to use Amber Electricity as an example because I've had a fair bit of conversation with Amber. I've got a, many of my customers that have bought batteries have migrated over to Amber in using their VPP tool. And I do know of a lot of other people have had great success. Amber, like they call their Goldilocks zone as small solar, big battery. A battery between say 20 to 25 kilowatt hours for your regular suburban home is quite, uh, quite good for them because it gives you enough battery capacity to be able to run your home but also enough spare battery capacity to be able to engage in the wholesale energy market. So what's the benefit of, of, of engaging in the wholesale energy market? Well, first, I guess we've got to know what the difference is between what we normally would be engaged in. You and I traditionally have signed up to a retail energy plan with an energy retailer those prices are simply averaged out with a margin on top 
of the energy that they buy out of the wholesale energy market. The energy retailers buy from the wholesale energy market. The electricity generators sell into the whole en wholesale energy market. So that market is basically that interface between generators and you know, and retailers. And in the middle there, there's a cost of distribution. And then the retailers put a margin uh, on top so they get to make their billions of dollars every year. The wholesale energy market is fluctuating. So in the middle of the day, when there's lots of surplus solar energy in the market and there is a very little purchasing going on, so everyone, nobody's at home. They're all at school or at work or, you know, the energy density, the energy uh, is being used elsewhere. So in the regional areas, in the suburban areas, there's lots of energy being produced by rooftop solar and solar farms and wind farms that are feeding into a market that doesn't have a very high demand. So the cost of energy just you know, goes, drops to the bottom. In fact, on some days it even goes negative, goes below zero. And then in the evening when the solar power is dropping down because the sun's going down, that's when everyone's getting home and starting to turn on their heaters or air conditioners, open the fridge 14 times and close it four times. You know, kids are home from school, everything's being turned on, cooking dinner, doing all the things energy use goes through the roof and the wholesale price also goes up accordingly because it's based on a five minute supply and demand assessment. So every five minutes supply and demand is assessed and a price is agreed upon every five minutes. The retailers are you know, buying the energy in that market. So during the day, your shoulder period, energy is a bit cheaper. And you get to peak time, the energy is more expensive. They are averaging things out. So you'll never see like a negative price in the middle of the day. They're making their money through the day. And in the peak time, they're putting obviously another margin on top of what they're paying so that they get to make their money. You are paying for that margin, that profit margin, the billions of dollars a year that these energy companies are making. How can you take advantage of the wholesale energy market and take advantage of those fluctuating prices? So when you are buying low and selling high yourself, this all comes into play when you invest in your home battery, which is the whole point of the Cheaper Home Batteries, the Federal Cheaper Home Battery Program, which is going to help enable you to buy your home battery. You're, there is also a state, the New South Wales state government, uh, PDRS incentive to get you to sign up to a VPP like Amber as the example I'm going to use today. Amber is uh, the one that's really making waves. They're a relatively new player when you compare to all of the other long-time energy retailers. They are engaging you into the wholesale energy market. Part of that is they need the capability to be able to control your battery and your hybrid inverter and even your grid tied inverter. So they need to be able to throttle those inverters back so that you don't export any power through the middle of the day. But they can import power through the day into your battery. So imagine when energy is super, super cheap, that's a great time to import power, but you're not home to use it. So you're not going to import power, but you have hopefully an empty battery sitting there because you emptied it overnight. So they can have the capability to say, energy is really cheap right now. I'm going to import power from the grid into your battery through the day at very, very low cost to then give you the opportunity to have you've got a full battery when you get home. You can use your battery power, but also sell your battery power back to the grid at a very high price in the peak time in the evening. That's engaging you in the wholesale energy market rather than the retail market, and you get to get those benefits. Amber has been uh, the one of the leaders in working out the algorithms to automate that process so that you're not doing the opposite 
you know, selling low and buying high, that would be pretty bad if you're in the wholesale energy market. That's why having the battery is critical and having the battery that they can control, the inverter that they can control, turn off or throttle it back so there's no exports going on at, at negative price times, um, that they can just import power at that point. They need to be out of total control over your solar system and your battery system, which uh, if the returns are the way they are, then they can have total control of my battery and solar system at any time because the benefits are huge. So. This is what Amber uh, will do for you, allow you to buy low, allow you to sell high, and all because you have a battery there, uh, because the battery is that tool to absorb that energy and release that energy at appropriate pricing times. So the thing is, is that when the prices are sort of marginal, the benefits are marginal, we get all worried about, oh, but what if I empty the battery and then I have to buy power in at that point. Um, well, the financial benefits are so great that even if there was small amounts of power that you had to buy at an at a inappropriate time and it did cost us some extra money and you weren't using battery power because you'd sold it all, well, that's okay because you had sold it all at a quite an extreme price and you've got the benefits of that pricing. So, it's more to do with the financial return that you get rather than the, uh, the um, you know, being free of the grid. I've <laughs> lost the word. Um, so uh, they do have the capability uh, to take into account any predictions of blackouts. So that can be either through planned uh, maintenance or weather events. So they can make sure that they charge or pre-charge your battery and then not empty it to make sure you've got blackout protection. So they have that capability, uh, which is really important for most people. Like you'd hate to have a battery sitting there and then it goes black and you're in a blackout because the battery's flat. So they have those capabilities to be able to give you that control. You've, you can actually have control over how deep you want to go into that market, uh, what the thresholds are that uh, you're prepared to basically you know, use to leave a percentage of battery for you to be able to use uh, for your own self-consumption. So a lot of flexibility and a lot of um, you know, autonomy within the battery or the bat within the AMBER system to simply make its own decisions for your best financial outcome. Uh, there are a number of batteries that uh, work well with AMBER. There's a few big batteries that are still going through integration. Uh, there are other tools that we can use to, now if there's a battery that's not integrated, we can actually utilize catch control relays and things like that to work with Amber. Uh, Mpower is a battery that uh, have their own smarts within the battery to be able to engage with Amber. Uh, and they're, they're just, you know, obviously Amber are just working more and more and more to integrate more with all of the different batteries in the market. I think that these guys are uh, definitely going to be number one in the VPP scope and well worth talking to. If you would like to see what maybe Amber could do for you, send me a, a message and I'll email you a link for the ROI calculator for Amber. They've called it ROI, fairly obvious ROI, ROI. So I can send you ROI uh, via email and you can punch in some numbers and see what Amber might be able to do for you. It's well worth uh, the effort to just spend some time and go through and see, okay, does a battery suit me? Maybe you don't even have solar, so we need to put some solar and a battery. The federal rebate for the batteries is phenomenal. So we, it is now at a point where it's crazy not to put a battery in. If we look at an example of a battery, uh, let's say the Alpha ESS 13.3 kilowatt hour battery. Pre-rebate this thing with backup, you know, with a backup, uh, two circuits, lighting and a power circuit connected. It was about 11 and a half grand fully installed, up and running. Today, it's about 6,500, 6,600 installed. 
It's still 11 and a half grand, but just the rebate brings that much money off it for you. So that brings us right down in the realms of affordability. If you then have the capability then to finance that, you can bring those repayments right down to a very little amount. We use HandyPay. That's uh, you can engage with HandyPay through our website as well. So we're doing a bit of a website refresh, giving it a bit of a birthday. We're going to include a lot of Amber in inclusions on that. So you can dedicate a page to VPPs to explain how that works. Give you some links to Amber. There's a referral. There'll be a referral link for Amber as well. If you want to have a look at the, the refer to Amber now, I can send you that referral link so you can click, click straight into Amber and they can then um, call you and and uh, tell you how it all works. Uh, and give you the yeah, give you Roy as well. So if you want to send me a message, I can send Roy your way, send you a referral link as well your way, and then you can have a talk to Amber and see what they can do for you. In the meantime, we can talk about batteries, see how batteries work for you, and yeah, plug them in through through Amber. Okay, talk soon.